<laughs> hello, hello, everyone. Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Welcome back to The Face, the card-making space. Hello, Mike. I'm paid interns in the corner. Yo. Camera wasn't working before we started, and so I had to, like, shut down everything. And I forgot. There we go. You know. It's, it's ready now. <sighs> As always, welcome to the chaos. Really? Is it alive with me if it doesn't have chaos? I was like running late because I was busy die cutting. Chris is like, did you make sure everything is working? I was like, no. <laughs> Went to go live and the camera's not working. And I'm like, fixed it. Everything's good. We're good. We're good. Everything's good. Whatever. Whatever. The duct tape <laughs> continues to hold. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, honestly. It's more zip ties than duct tape. And yeah. yeah. Hello, Mike. Because, you know, he pops into screen. He's... I need to put, like, little... I, oh, we talked about that. I was going to put googly eyes on him, but then I already have an issue. My camera likes to focus on the darn thing. When, and then the, I'm... <laughs> so I'm not going to give Mike any more attention than he deserves. Whatever. Anyway. Hello, everybody. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yeah. Lives are fun. They are fun, but they're just chaotic. Chaotic. So, hello, hello. Welcome to everyone. For those that aren't aware, yeah, we are live. And if we're not live, if this is after live and you're just watching the replay, you're still welcome. You can just leave comments uh, below the video. Those that are actually watching live, we have the live chat, which stays up. You guys can always check it out, all the fun things. Speaking of the live chat, I did post or pin to the top, over here, top, the top of the live chat, the visual supply list. So you can click on that. It'll open up in a new window, etc. That is also linked below. Everything I plan to use is also listed and linked below the video. It might change. We'll just see because, you know, I'm just like flying by the seat of my pants off the top of my head. And the unpaid intern will add links if we need to. And then what else did I want to discuss? I think that was mostly it for the, like the housekeeping thing. So hello, hello, hello. Um, cam yeah, exactly. You know, Espe and it was the main one because like the face one, I can do without it. If that one decides to be annoying, I can do a live without it. But it was the one facing my workspace that decided to just like not connect. I'm like, Because I'm not going to sit here, you know. You guys don't need to stare at my face for an hour. Not fun. <laughs> not fun. Not interesting. Okay. So we're going to, speaking of the cameras, do the magic. I'm going to move some stuff out of the way so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. First off, I did post link because this, this, look at us, because it's been a while since I showed this. This was actually the very first live, like officially YouTube live that I did. I've linked to it below the video. It was making these swatches using Lindy's magical powders. So that's already been done. So I'm not, I'm just not, it's the videos there. It's linked. We're good. But that's what I'm going to use. And my swatches came in handy because I was very, I wanted blue. So I was flipping through all my swatches and I've got a bunch of them because I have a ton of Lindy's magical because they're beautiful and I love them. And, um, Yes, the form is below the video. Just refresh. If you're not seeing it, it's there. Open up the description box. It's there. So those watching live, the, the form to enter to win the card today, possibly cards. I might make two. We'll see. Um, it's there. Um, anyway, there's my swatches of all the beautiful colors that I have, which, yes, is a lot. So, again, that video is linked below. And... Um, yeah, I picked out three colors. Well, technically two colors and a gold. Really, who are we kidding? And that's what I'm gonna use. So we're gonna we're gonna make some form of shimmery background goodness. And I have Canson XL watercolor paper. I was talking about this in whenever it was that I you know I like this is what I'm talking about. Like this is a big pack. I cut down because it comes in a Canson XL watercolor paper comes in a nine by twelve pack kind of that's the standard and I take a bunch of the sheets and I cut them in half so normally it's like like that you know <laughs> I'll have to do like this yeah normally it's like that so yeah yeah 
it was 12 by nine. So I cut them in half and then I just stick them in a stamp sort sleeve or whatever. But anyway, I was talking about in another live, like I, I couldn't find this for the life of me for like two weeks. Couldn't find it, searching for it everywhere. And it was in the bin with my watercolor paper where it always is. I had it, I literally had it in my hand at one point when I was looking for it. And my brain was just like, this isn't the droids you're looking for. And I just, anyway, anyway, welcome again to the chaos. <laughs> so yeah, I've got three different colored magicals from three different sets. Usually I try to stick to like a set because with these, most of them come in sets of like five. However, like I said, I was, I wanted specific tones. So I've got like a very deep navy blue, a really light blue. And then this is glitzy gold. It's just shimmery beautifulness. And they're amazing. And again, oh, that was the other thing I forgot to list. I'll do that afterwards. I do have a playlist. That's what I forgot to do. I knew there was something. Um, I have an entire playlist using shimmer powders, whether it's these or the Nouveau ones. I've got dozens upon dozens of videos I've done over the years using them. I will post that in the description after this video because yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Whatever. Not the end of the world. So, hello. Hello to everyone. And yes, they are fun. So first off, flower sackcloth just to somewhat protect my work surface. Depending on what I'm doing, a lot of times I will tape this down because we're gonna be adding a ton of water to this. However, I just, do I want to? Yeah, why not? We, I, can, I can do this. So I didn't link to this. Hardboard. Hardboard, sir. Hardboard? Hardboard, look up hardboard. I didn't, I didn't link to it. We'll, we'll do that. Did you find it? Hardboard and satin tape. So let's, yeah, let's, let's do what I say I'm going to do. Yep, that first one. Yep. And then satin tape. So we will just tape this down just to keep it from curling. And again, if you've watched those old videos I've done with the shimmer powders, you know what I'm talking about. Because back in the day, a lot of times I didn't tape it down and the, the cardstock will just curl. You know, it flattens out when it dries. It's fine. But when you have a ton of shimmer and water and it's just running off the sides, not fun. So, um, the Nouveaux are getting so hard to find even on Simon's. Simon's got a bunch of them. They sold out again. They had restocked. And, um... They sold out of a bunch of the colors again. They were difficult to source for a while there. I'm not sure what was going on with Tonic, but they they restocked and then they sold out of a bunch of colors again. That's why I'm not using them today. I was gonna. But then I also wanted like navy shades, which Tonic doesn't have. Um, but yeah, they do have quite a few of them in stock right now. So we got, um, is there a huge, not really, honestly, like in terms of how they work and look they're the same like pretty much they are just shimmer powders with like different little additives and shimmer and binders the only big difference i don't have a link to them right now but um the nouveau ones come like this you know and again, I've shown in videos, you just gently tap, do not squeeze these bottles ever. Trust me. <laughs> again, it's in one of those videos in the playlist where I accidentally did that. You end up with like a pile of shimmer powder. So that's a bit, honestly, the biggest difference is these come in these little like squeezy containers. And then most of the Lindy's, they either come like this or there's, they have ones with like little shaker tops and stuff. But honestly, I'm fine with, with this. So yeah. So... You want to post a link yeah, to the... Sure. Okay. Unpaid intern is keeping up. So, okay. So, yeah. Watercolor paper of choice. Um, this is just, again, Canson XL watercolor paper, which I use most of the time. It's cheap. You know, I love me some good quality. When it comes to watercolor paper, the higher quality you go, the better your results. With this, it's irrelevant. Doesn't matter. But when you're doing actual like watercoloring, you know, painting stamped images, et cetera, et cetera, the higher quality, higher quality your paper, 
the better your results, hands down. But for most of what we do in card making, Canson does the job. I'm fine with that. Totally fine with it. So we've got, um, did you like, yep. yep. He's keeping up with it. We're good. We're good. I love how that tape matches your fingernails. Kind of does, doesn't it? It really does. Altenew knew what they were doing when they decided yeah. to make it purple. <laughs> I do have a fondness for purple. Okay. So the other thing with specifically the Lindy's ones, because they are a jar like this one, make sure you're not running like a fan. Do not sneeze. <laughs> Cause you're, you're in for about that. But what, what I love for me is, and it's specific. I have different brushes for different things. And for whatever reason, this is just picket fences, like from picket fence studios. I put a, there's a link to it. It's their little fan brush. And there's something about the bristles on this one that are perfect with shimmer powders. So this is like, I keep this, I don't use this for splatter or anything. I use it just for my shimmer powders. That's it. And I'll show in a second. So I'm going to open my jars. So I've got, um, and the funny, and that's part of it too. Like this, don't be fooled. That's why also why I did swatches because especially with shimmer powders, what you see, that's not what we're going to get. This is blue. doesn't look blue. It is blue. So swatches for the win and <laughs> he's trying to earn the peanut M&Ms. Yeah. yeah, he did run out. So maybe that's why he's working extra hard today. To <laughs> so, then I'll, so I'll buy him more peanut M&Ms. <laughs> yeah, he's starving. <laughs> Poor baby. Uh, hey, he's earning them. I'm, he's keeping up with it. Usually I have to be like, hey, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I've got my three, my three colors, and then we're just gonna, I just kind of, I gotta move this over a little bit. Let's move this over like this, so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So doop, doop, doop. So I just kind of dip my brush, and you'll, when the more you play with shimmer powders, like do stuff like this, background, they're fun, you'll get used to it. But I've dipped my brush, you can see I'm, I don't have a whole lot on here. And then I just tappy tap, you know, and we'll just see what happens because you can always add more. So we're just gonna stick it all over the place and then I'm going to stick it in this one that again, doesn't look like much, but once the water hits it, you'll see what I mean. Boop. Add a bit of that. Maybe add a little more of the dark blue over here. And then we'll add some of this shimmery gold. And there's no rhyme or reason. Just me. Like I said, it's stuff like this. Just play with it. You get used to it. You start figuring out like what colors are, you know, more intense, what they like to do. Some of them are super reactive. So I'm going to move these out of the way before I start spraying everything with water. Because this is the fun part. Okay. So. Spray bottle. Uh, no, this Canson XL watercolor, this is just cold press. I honestly, for me and everything I do, I cannot even tell you the last time I used hot press. Um, I'm not a fan of hot press. I don't, I don't like because... Uh, when it comes to watercolor paper, there is hot press, there's cold press, and then there's, what is, I don't remember, some, one of you guys can tell me in the chat, there's a name for it, but it's, it's heavily textured. Hot press is very, very smooth because that's the method they use to make it. They actually apply heat to it and it flattens out those fibers so you get a very, very smooth finish, almost like, like a smooth cardstock with a watercolor paper. Cold press has some texture to it, and then there's the really heavy textured watercolor paper which the more texture it grabs because we're, again we're talking about watercolor paper what it's meant for and it's meant for watercolor so smooth you know really smooth hot press paper everything sits on top of it more that's why i don't like working with it because it just annoys me regular just rough texture yeah i think it's just yeah i have a pack of it around here somewhere i've never used it that i can remember because it is it's very textured 
cold press has a bit of texture to it so it can grab especially when you have granulating watercolors so that's a whole other conversation but anyway for something like this you can use any of them if you've got hot press try it it'll work it'll work just fine but canton xl it's it's cold press so it's got a bit of texture it's good to go okay so i'll send you back to canada with some almond m ms for i know right okay we're gonna spray the water and when I said, like, heavy amount of water, you do. Because, you know, it's starting. It's starting. But we need water. Because the more you add, that's when it starts. That's why they're called magical. Because they do magical things. That is a really good Isn't that it fun? Nice. And it just does that. And then if you want, and that's the nice thing, too, about taping it down or you just hold it up but you can start manipulating it and this is why i say to you guys like, just play grab some watercolor paper grab the shimmer powders grab some water play with it and then yes it'll literally like run right off i don't care my uh this is what the flower sack cloth is for is to absorb the mess and we can keep moving it Just like so. And then really let it just move around. And it gets messy and it's fun. And then if you want to, depending on what you're doing, I always say like leave it, let it dry. But that's usually more often when I'm um, covering like an image or a background or something. Because how it looks now is not how it's going to look when, it, when it's dry. And we're going to speed this up with a heat tool in a minute. But I want to break up this gold that I added. Because it's not moving. It's like clumped. But if I just kind of poke at it with the brush. Now it's doing its thing and kind of mixing in with everything else. So we'll also kind of break up a bit of the piles of this really dark blue that I created and let it move around too. Just let it do its thing. Because we'll just muck with it a bit. Because this background is not going to stay as a background. We're going to die cut this. So I'm not... I don't have any qualms about breaking my rule and actually mucking with it. And yes, even though these are blues... But a gold, like, that's the thing with shimmer powders, is there's random little pigments here and there. So, like, there's a little pink in there. That's always super fun. I want to add more of the gold, just because. So that's what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like this gold. I haven't used this stuff, I don't think, even since I bought it, so. It's pretty. And I also want some of that lighter blue still. So like I said, it looked white. That's all of this. So we'll add a bit more, just cause. And then we'll see what happens. Eh. I'm happy with that. Let's dry it and see where it looks. I can see why they named it Magicals. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Because it just... It is magic. So now we're just going to dry it. Because normally I say just set it aside and walk away. But if I was to do that, well, the live would get really boring now, wouldn't it? Part of me wants to troll everyone and do that. Just set it aside and walk off. <laughs> <laughs> Come back in an hour or two. <laughs> uh, it's almost a paint drying screen, actually. I know, right? Actually, I, I almost like it would be funny if I did that. I just left it on camera and then walked off. Yeah. It's like you want to watch paint dry. Uh,
but yeah, it's going to literally change like on camera as it gets more and more dry. And then I also usually take a tissue and just kind of sop up the extra liquid just to speed along the drying process. Because again, I used a ton of water. There we go. Yeah, and see, it looks completely different already than how it did when it was wet. And that's why I always say, especially with shimmer powders, you need to let it dry. You know, don't judge till it is completely dry. Because more often than not, especially when it's over a background or a stamped image or anything like that, it looks like an absolute hot mess. And I still to this day laugh because I always say that during the voiceover in the videos. And people are like, I was doubting. It looked so awful. I'm like, you just had to watch for 30 more seconds. Oh. Gold perfect pearls work for the gold part too. Potentially. Um, sort of. Because perfect pearls do have a binder in them. They don't have the same type of pigments. So they do not react in the same way. That's why I don't use perfect pearls for this technique. But for something like this. You probably could add some perfect pearls to it. Um, wouldn't honestly wouldn't hurt to try it and see what happens. So yeah, it looked. There we go. There's the shimmer. You know. The bonnet hair dryer and hooking the hose to a box to dry paper quicker. Um, I mean you could. Honestly, I find just my little Ranger Heat It 2 does the job. And then a lot of times, though, to not even use heat and just, yeah, set it aside, let it air dry. It doesn't take long. Could die cut flowers, and we're not die cutting flowers. We're going to die cut butterflies from this. Even better. Yeah. Flowers would look gorgeous, too, though. And greenery, anything, anything, you know, that's half the fun is just create backgrounds, whether it's shimmer powders, ink blending, what, like, you know, if you don't have a whole lot of time, muck around, make a few backgrounds, set them aside. And then the next time you sit down, you can use them to die cut or use them as a background. It's honest, a half the, it's just have fun with it. Experiment, see what happens. You never know. Okay. I'm not going to add any more layers to this. I thought I might, but like, it's beautiful as it is. So. I'm going to first put the lids back on these before I knock them over, because you know what's going to happen. So, do that. And then that. And then I need to remove the muck from that brush. Put that brush away so I don't accidentally get gunk on it. Okay. You get the same results from air drivers he try on the only difference is depending on the type of tool you're using to dry it the the air can move the liquid that's it like that's that's the only difference that's why i like using the ranger one because it disperses air heat tools meant for heat embossing like that dude directs heat very very concentrated these get to the same temperature i've talked about this in other videos this one I use for heat embossing because the heat is directed and, you know, I can melt embossing powder in 30 seconds, whatever. This can be used for heat embossing, but because it disperses the heat, it takes 10 times longer. It's annoying. I don't like it. I use this for drying things because it also it's not blasting air, you know, so it's not pushing the liquid all over the place. So this for drying, the other one for heat embossing. And the, yeah, so the results end up being basically the same. Um... I know we don't sit around rubbing our products, but do you know let's transfer these? Technically, no. If you've got like the spots where I've got little chunks of gold, I can get the teeniest bit, hardly any, like proof. Because people always ask this too about like, do you seal 
whether it says a background or whatever, do you seal this? I don't use sealers. I don't use sealants. There, you can get the Krylon makes a good one. It's and because you can get like artist grade sealants that you know don't yellow over time, etc. Cetera, et cetera. People have talked about hairspray. I will never use. I used to way back, like twenty years ago, when we first started card. When I first started card making, like hairspray. Oh, one hairspray is sticky. It's sticky. I don't care what anyone says. It's sticky. And hairspray does yellow. I don't like it. Now, again, I'm not worried about like archival quality. These are cards. This is not going in the Louvre. It doesn't need to be around after I'm gone, you know? Um, so I don't worry about archival nothing. However, Krylon makes a really good spray sealant that you can get like matte spray sealants, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't work with it. But this, there's like nothing there. See? Don't lick your artwork. Like, uh, like that sure? would. It might, taste good. it might taste good, but uh, don't look the artwork. But you know, because I, I I know people get really hung up with that, and it's like, oh, when you give the card, if the person who receives the card just decides to start like licking it for whatever they love you so much, that's on them. You know, if they contact you and they're like, I've got like pigment all over my face, well, I'm just, I'm just I know I'm being ex exaggerating, but you know, um, but yeah, like if it was really like, uh, and my hands were like blue. One, I wouldn't work with these powders. I wouldn't, because I don't have time for that crap. But if you're really concerned, you can seal them with a spray sealant. I just don't have the time for that. I don't care. So yeah, don't don't lick the artwork, people. So yeah, there's my background though, and it's shimmery. Yeah, super fun. So okay, um. I had a lot of believe the Tim Holtz mica. Same, same idea with the mica sprays. Um, too many layers. The, if you're finding whatever you're using, whether it is shimmer powders, mica stain sprays, anything like that. If you find that when you're done and you go like this and you're just getting like shit, like tons of it is coming off, you have way oversaturated. Like if I was to add a second or even third layer to this, the other layers, me going like this, I'd probably have just tons of it coming off because you're just oversaturating because all these products have binders in them. I can only speak to these three brands. So Lindy's Magicals, Nouveau Shimmer, Distress Mica Stain Sprays have binders in them that hold the shimmer in place. But if you find that it is coming off, try a different paper. Try not to add so much. Too many, too many layers, too much going on. There's nothing for the, the paper to grab onto anymore. So then it is just sitting there. So hopefully, um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. The loop has never reached out to me for me to display my cards there. Could you imagine? <laughs> uh, someday I'll actually, you know what? Someday if you and I actually get a chance to go to Paris and go to Louvre, I'll have to bring a card of mine with me and we can just like set it up somewhere and we'll take a picture and just to completely undo the crap I say because it would be funny. Maybe we can put it up in the bathroom. In the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, you know. Mm -hmm. Someday. It's on my bucket list to go there. But yeah. Yeah. If I ever do. I will make sure to take a card of mine and then we will display it at the Louvre and then Amy will probably get arrested because, you know, it is what it is. Anywho. Oh, camera froze. No way. Why? We thought we'd fix the issue. Let. I was having trouble earlier too. Yeah, it's the same camera that we were having issues with. Man, we thought we'd fixed it. Wait, let me switch back. You, Why is everything being stupid? Give me a second, you guys. Okay. Can you make sure it's the cord for this one? Mm -hmm. And unplug and... Yep. Actually, wait. Give... Uh... so annoyed we thought we'd fix the issue i'm still on the same network too mm -hmm. so this camera is just being a bum okay unplug it and then plug it back in and then we'll just see what happens ah <sighs> truth evelyn the gremlins if we have to restart we will we'll see oh 
think that did anything. It's not the site of Lincoln. But it's still frozen on the on the software. You remove it from the switcher. Give me a sec, folks. Oh, oh, oh. And then this froze for a sec. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to turn it off. And here I thought, you know, we had enough tech issues to start the day. Ugh. IT stuff does suck, you guys. So yeah, everyone's got time to go grab a drink, go grab a snack, have a bathroom break, what else? We may have to restart. We'll see. Let me just give this one more go. And then we'll see if we can continue or I'm going to have to restart. Because of course it's the main camera. I'm so annoyed. Um, Is that the one that needed to go? It was always a hit and a miss which one went, you know, but... Just give me, there we go. See if I can. And then the software is free. <laughs> uh. Okay, you guys. Well, no. Everything sucks. Boo. I know, last week went, we thought we had it fixed. Uh. I know, right? So. Apologies, we are going to restart. I will post, for those watching this on the replay and those watching right now, I will post below the video the link to the next part of this live. We're going to restart, blah, blah, blah. So everyone just give me like five minutes because we'll, I'm going to restart just everything and hopefully that, hopefully that kicks the gremlins out. We were just getting to the good stuff too. So yeah, give me five minutes. Five minutes. We'll be back. Okay, bye everybody. I'll be I'll be back in five minutes.